بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيد خلق الله محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته dear followers learn Arabic with me channel followers uh, we're gonna go back to grammar today we have something new today that we are I'm recording this video outdoor outdoor so kharija uh, albayt because all videos i did it was indoor so today i people like to change things in the end of the ramadan and we want to so the beginning of a summer so alhamdulillah rabbil alameen ramadan is over and may allah bless us today is the last day of ramadan Inshallah, I hope everybody inshallah has a will have a good Eid and has a good Ramadan with a good dua with this uh, quarantine for coronavirus. I hope every day everybody is safe, inshallah. Today we're gonna talk about a ta. A ta. Ta is very important in the verb. A ta fi al fi. A ta. I want to show you how a ta is important. A ta al mabsuta because we have two kinds of ta. A ta al marbuta and the ta al mabsuta. So, ta can be like this. Al marbuta means tight. This ta is a tight, marbuta. This ta is mabsuta means I like this when you say marbut mabsuta means it's uh, up down and this is a ta mabsuta in the end of the kalima here it can be in the end of the kalima but another half is be before half on qablaha here and here in the in the, uh, the kalima maybe ra maybe dal maybe dal maybe the letters I said that they cannot be connected from left side. So this is my ta. Now you're going to tell me how come this ta is important in the verb. لماذا التاء مهمة في الفعل? I'll tell you. التاء ترتبط بالفعل. It's connected to الفعل in two ways. For example, uh, let me give you just an example in the beginning. Atta ul mabsuta fi al fi'l al madi. Al madi is the past, like we did before. Al madi is a, a, a tense, a past. Al madi. So, katab tu. Okay, so let me write it. Ka ta ab tu. Ka tab and you can see here ta means I wrote I already wrote because it's al madi al past al madi katab tu what do I have in the top of a ta dhamma what kind of this haraka is it sound is o tu o that means it's a me so the ta we call it ta al mutakallim it's a me who, who wrote, it's a me who uh, ate like akaltu, sharibtu, katabtu, qara'tu. If I have a, a book and then uh, I, I wrote the book, qara'tu means when you say to, means it's a me. When about you, when I talk about you, katabta. So ta is a, it's gonna be maftuha. Ka. I'm going to try to go to, okay? Ka, ta, ab, ta. Ka, ta, ab, ta. But with the fatha. When about you, but is a female, because there is a difference, like in, in America, in a language uh, like French or uh, English, uh, you, it can be man, it can be woman. In Arabic, it's not the same. In Arabic, tu means you as a male. Ti 
means you as a female. So katabta. I'm sorry. Katabta is a you as a male. Katabti. 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 Now ta is has al kasra. Okay. So katabtu. So I have haraka here. I have haraka here. I have haraka here. This haraka is kasra. I'm talking about ta. This haraka is fatha. This haraka is damma. Okay. Now we're gonna go to next step. So you see the other kind of ta. Katabtu. Read with me. Katabta. Katabti. So he him. If I talk about him, somebody I'm talking about, not to. So because why? Kataba, he's not here. The person is not here. Ka ta ba. Ka ta ba. So he kataba. Ahmad kataba. But if I talk about female, but she's not here, I am talking about her, not to her. If you say I'm talking to somebody is in front of you, amama tatahadatu maa. When you talk about about somebody, he's not here, but you talk about him. So katabat, and here I'm gonna write katabat right here. Katabat, katabat. What is that here? Right there. What ta has in the top of it? A sukun. Okay, so let's see. Haraka damma. Haraka fatha. Haraka kasra. I'm not gonna talk about him because he doesn't have a ta. Here sukun is not haraka. And we know sukun is something sakin. Something sakin does not move. Something haraka means movement. Haraka means a movement. When you talk about haraka means a movement. Harfun mutaharik means it's a moving. But the meaning in grammar means has it uh, three harakat, which is a dhamma and the fatha and the sukun. This is why we call those a three those are three right there katabtu katabta katabti atta ul mutaharrika atta ul mutaharrika mutaharrika it's moving tataharak it's moving say mutaharrika mm -hmm. mutaharrika mean it's a moving ta mutaharrika this ta, is this a mutaharika right there? No. How come? Because it has a sukun. And the sukun doesn't move. You see your sound when you say ta, uh. Your sound stayed right there. It doesn't go anywhere. So this is what sukun means. And uh, in uh, Arabic, regular Arabic, she'un sakin means it's not moving. As-sakina. Walladhi ja'ala as-sakina ta fi qulubi al-mu'minina li yazdadu imanan fi in surat al-fatihna. Li yazdadu imanan. Sakina means no movement. Calm. Okay? This is what sukun is about. This is what your voice does when you have a sukun. So your sukun, your your voice or your sound just stop right there. So this is ta mutaharika. This is ta mutaharika. This is ta mutaharika, and this is ta takina. Sakina means has a sukun. Mutaharika means ha has haraka. So sakina. Remember, sakina has sukun. Mutaharika has haraka. The haraka is a three kinds: al fatha, al dhamma. And sukun. I'm sorry. Al fatha, al dhamma, and al kasra. Al sukun. And we have two kinds of sukun. The sukun al hay, which is this one right here, 
and sukul mad al mayit is the extension that we pr we make sound longer so so this ha this lesson inshallah is just about atta al mutaharrika wa ta al ta'nit al sakina ta al sakina katabat oh let me tell you something ta al ta'nit ta'nit means what ta'nit means mu'annath ta'nit comes from mu'annath mu'annath means female see female so this ta al sakina right here goes only with female katabat mean, means she she wrote sharibat means she drank akalat means she ate namat means she slept is a past so this ta asakina goes with the uh, female only that's why we call it ta at-ta'nith at-ta'nith means mu'annath mu'annath means female okay mu'annath so ta ta'nith as-sakina so ta'nith is always sakina and never has haraka never ta'nith can be mutaharrika never 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 ever but mutaharrika never can be sakina like those katabtu it me katabta it's you so i'm making uh, i'm changing al haraka al verb is mutaharrik atta is mutaharrik tatahrak tatahrak that's why we call it atta al mutaharrika katabtu katabta katabti kataba has no ta so this is not the case actually let me erase it kataba has no 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 ta katabtu كتبت كتبتي تاء متحركة كتبت تاء التأنيث الساكنة It's just that simple جزاكم الله خيرا I hope you learned something I hope you make a difference between التاء المتحركة وتاء التأنيث الساكنة uh, إن شاء الله uh, we're gonna give you some more I hope you love this video and if you like it please put like if you didn't subscribe yet and you like my channel please go ahead and learn some Arabic uh, with me with uh, learn Arabic with me channel some Arabic and I'm happy to uh, help everybody. If you have any questions, any comments, any suggestions, any ideas, anything, please share with me. I will be more than happy to uh, help or discuss with you whatever you come uh, up with. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.